Right, it's okay, welcome to another episode of what we like to call Pro Shop, where I like to have a look at the products that are out there that we don't normally feature on our channel in terms of reviews. I'm talking accessories, I'm talking GPS devices, watches, maybe some uh, footwear, some clothing. And in today's episode, we're gonna look at some electric trolleys. The idea of the concept of this uh, series of videos is a quite simple one. We look at featuring those products that I don't normally get to uh, showcase. And secondly, maybe dig out a few budget options because I continually get a number of complaints on the channel from golfers who just say that golf is becoming too damn expensive. And uh, what I'm trying to do is sift through websites, in this case, Hot Golf, and try and find out some options that may make the game a little bit more affordable. And it starts there really because um, I mentioned electric trolleys. They are expensive and uh, they do make the game just that little bit easier. And a lot of people have them. Some of the big brands are probably charging a minimum of 500 pounds. I would guess now uh, another hefty old investment for golfers. But what if I was to tell you, you get an electric trolley from 249 pounds. Now Ben Sayers is a brand that uh, I've not seen for quite some time. I associated previously with golf clubs. I know that uh, the guy himself a long time ago was based up in North Berwick, as was the factory. And uh, I've since found they produce an electric trolley and it's 249 quid and it comes with 149 pounds worth of accessories. So we're getting at a price point that maybe makes carrying less appealing and gives an option to everybody's budget in terms of pushing around an electric trolley. Now, what do I think of it? Well, first and foremost, is it as visually appealing as maybe a motor caddy or a power caddy? I'd say no, it isn't. But does this thing do a job? Will it carry your golf clubs around for 18 holes? Will it get you there comfortably? Will it provide you all the accessories to hold your drink, your umbrella, your scorecard holder, then pack it back into the car with a nice um, case to keep your boot nice and clean. That's all part of that 149 pound accessory kit. And the answer to all those questions is yes, it does. So for me, this is all about budget and about doing a job. And this Ben Sayers trolley ticks all the boxes in that respect. So like I said in episode one, if you're really intent on saving money, if you want budget options, this is a real good product. No hot golf sell, absolutely hundreds of these. Check out the reviews on this product as well because they're very, very favorable. And uh, at that kind of money, like I said, there's no reason why we all can't be pushing around an electric trolley. Right, trolley done. Let's move on to a different type of product, but again, something well worth a look at, and that is wedges from PXG. Yeah, I know, I've been a big fan of PXG, full stop, as everybody knows, but this is a real interesting one for me. This is an 0311 forged wedge, but it's the first iteration. Now there's not many of these things about, but I know that Hot Golf do have a lot of them. And it's interesting that these are available via them and not via PXG. It's a real, real decent wedge first and foremost. They also have them in many lofts with many bounce options. It's a forge wedge first of all. Out there on the fairways, for me, I prefer forged irons wherever possible. That would be my go-to choice. These are super soft the way they feel. In some ways, I've always been a traditional, um, a look of the traditional look in PXG sense at least of that kind of nuts and bolts back end. In the later models of the PXG wedges, they've actually done away with this from a visual aspect. The concept and the weighting still exists, but you don't see it. And I actually prefer this. Like I said, that's when I first bought in to the visuals that PXG offer. These wedges, would you believe, are £99. I think when they first hit, they were £249. I'm not too sure of the equivalent product right now on PXG's website. I've got a feeling it's £199. So again, Forge wedges, £99 a pop. I just think it's a case of, I didn't know these things existed. These type of buys were out there. And again, I've learned a lot, to be honest with you, from our partnership with Hot Golf and um, finding out these kind of things. And trust me, there's lots more to come in the coming weeks. Have a good scout through their website, because like I said, 
they seem to be pulling up some real good bargains and like i said making the game more affordable we've looked at two products there that are literally half the price of what perhaps you would expect to pay where should we go next well i'll tell you what we'll go to the shot scope range finder the l2 pro because this thing is a real interesting one shot scope themselves definitely don't fall into that budget category they've been producing some real good quality product over the last few years and this range finder is no different it's really small it's really compact it's very ergonomic in terms of its design really handy in and out the bag even fit in your back pocket to be honest with you it's that small in its sizing but the interesting thing about this is it includes obviously yardage to flags but it also includes a slope and slope basically makes an adjustment uh, in terms of whether you're playing downhill or uphill and adjust that yardage for you now i'm pretty sure you can't use these in competition format but if you're trying to work out your way around your home course and gain some ideas of what those yardages are ready for those saturday competitions then this is ideal to do so beforehand the big deal again is all about the price 149 is what they're being sold for i think again go and check it out but a kind of bushnell equivalent is going to be topping out at four to five hundred quid for that kind of technology built in and like i said quality product nice little pouch to keep it in attached to your golf bag that easy elasticated strap in and out to uh, access nice and easy when you go around the golf course real nice product love the weight in terms of the quality of the build and uh, 149 quid i said in episode one I get the feeling that's sort of almost like uh, a sales pitch that I'm making on these things. It's very difficult to be enthusiastic about these products because I can't believe, like I said, some of the things we've managed to dig up and not come across as uh, I'm trying to sell them. But as I said in episode one, trust me, I don't care whether you buy them or not. All I'm doing is highlighting that they exist. And that brings me on to our final product in this week's episode, and it is a golf shoe. It's a golf shoe that's, uh, well, let's be honest, You've seen it on a very famous YouTuber, the top man Rick Shields wears these on pretty much every video. It is the Eco Biome H4. I hope I've got that bit right. The interesting bit for me is, first of all, this is a Gore-Tex golf shoe. Now, the minute you mention Gore-Tex, the price goes, well, quite high. It's a huge benefit to have a breathable leather, fully waterproof shoe. Um, which basically means you can play in all conditions. I think my dad would be better trying to give you the reference on these things because he's never got eco off his feet. He loves these things because of how comfy they are. I must admit, all I've done is tried these on and had a bit of a walk around in the back garden in them. And uh, I have to say, one thing you do when you put an eco shoe on is you do realise they are incredibly comfortable. Uh, very light weight, but the big deal for me is the fact that they are Gore-Tex, which is a huge, huge bonus and makes it an all-weather shoe. You don't need any more in terms of telling uh, for me to tell you how good the quality of an Eco shoe is. It's very, very good indeed. But the big deal, yet again, is the price of these things. What I don't understand about Hot Golf is that these are cheaper than what you will find in the Eco store. Not sure how they do it. I'm not sure why they do it, but these are 99 quid a pair. They've got bundles of stock bundles of different color options and uh, you too could look like rick shields if you fancy a pair of these eco shoes for just 99 quid how good would that be maybe we'll feature lion and scott next week so next up is a putter and unfortunately this one doesn't fall into that budget and affordable uh, category i am afraid it is from lab golf and we've had huge amount of interest on the channel since i started looking at the mez putter um, probably six or eight months ago, maybe a bit more than that, I then looked at the Mez Max. And this putter we're going to take a look at today is the Link 1. The Link 1 is basically a blade putter, and I've done a full review on this thing out at Wallasey Golf Club, and uh, you'll be able to see that very, very soon. But all I want to make you aware, really, is the fact that everybody in my videos asks me, and still do on every video they see me put with the Mez, is ask the question, where can we get these things from because they are not readily available certainly in the uk and across europe maybe more accessible in the us i'm not too sure but i can tell you now that lab golf have invested heavily in putting a lot of stock in in terms of lab putters so 
The putter itself, I mean, as a quick um, recap on what I found on the on the greens, not the fairways at uh, Wallasey Golf Club, was that the principle is very much the same in terms of obviously it's lie angle balance, which is very different. It's all about a weighting system that keeps the putter square at address. Something that you would normally see or associate perhaps with mallet putters. And what they've tried to do is build a weighting system that allows them to give that stability or provide that stability into a blade like putter. I'm a little bit debatable as to whether or not it's certainly not as um, stable, forgiving, whatever you want to use the word, as the mez, as the mallet versions, but for the player that wants that kind of stability, but wants the blade, then I know that this is going to be something that's got a lot of interest. As you know, Lewis Johnson features quite heavily on the channel, and I literally handed this to him. He wants to play a blade, he wants the forgiveness of a mallet. He literally got hold of this thing and fell in love with it straight away. So I've got a feeling we're going to see that in Lewis's bag, and maybe we'll do a little bit more in terms of uh, a detailed review with him and see his opinion versus mine on the Lab Golf Link 1, because like I said, it is a putter that will appeal to many. I hope you enjoyed it. It's very much a new series, a new concept. We're trying to introduce different products to the channel and try and highlight, like I said, bargains that I can find. And it's been really good to have this partnership with Hot Golf because I've been able to access these products that we wouldn't normally look at. So that's been a real bonus for me. It's been a real eye-opener for me because, uh, like I said, all I get to see it is really review brand new product, which generally comes out with brand new big prices and get lots of complaints off golfers. So what I'm hoping this series does is that I put a little bit of effort into scouring around and trying to find some products that are a little bit more appealing in terms of our price point. That's the idea of it anyway. As ever, I'm more interested in your opinion than mine. And uh, if you've tried the L2 as yet from ShotScope, if you've tried that PXG wedge, if you've tried those um, Eco uh, golf shoes, and if you've tried the Ben Sayers electric trolley, then please give me some feedback below because that will help you uh, or help fellow golfers be guided into uh, either a positive or a negative purchase. It's always good to get as much feedback as we possibly can. It's something I really want to generate within these videos in that comment section so please get involved let me know what you think of this video and also what you'd like to see me feature in the weeks ahead right as ever thank you for watching don't forget check out hot golf and see if you can grab yourself a bargain and make golf a little bit more affordable right i'll see you tomorrow night